Greetings! My name is Amara Amethyst and I'm here to empower you to live your soul purpose. So today I'm going to be sharing some lunar tarot guidance using the fifth tarot, which is a deck created by Teresina and Martine Bakkins. I'll also be pulling a couple of oracle cards from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck, which was created by Colette Baron reed and also the Goddess Guidance Oracle deck, which was created by Doreen Virtue. I'll also be sharing a light language transmission and some sound healing with Alchemy Gemstone Singing Bowls and my voice. This video is intended to align all of us with our highest path and the highest good of all that is for the time period between the new moon in Virgo, which is September 20th, and the full moon in Aries on October 5th, 2017. If you found this video outside of that time frame, there is a message or transmission here for you. So to begin, let's just all be as comfortable as possible if you're not already and take a few deep breaths in and out of your heart center in the center of your chest. It's coming into a space of balance, coming into your center. Breathing in and out for equal amounts of time, however many counts you would like to do that for. Just inspiring and exhaling the same amount of time. Perhaps with a hold at the top and the bottom of the breath for a little bit as well. And just coming back to center point. I'm going to call upon my team of guides and also whoever else's team is consenting to that. I call upon my subconscious inner child, my fully awakened adult, my higher self, my guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, star beings, elementals, inner earth beings, the galactic federation of light, any and all beings who wish to support my highest good, your highest good, and the highest good of all that is. Thank you for your guidance each and every day, and thank you for joining us here now for this transmission. And for anybody else who is consenting to this, you can verbally share your consent or you can energetically share your consent. I call upon your subconscious inner children, your fully awakened adults, your higher selves, your guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, star beings, elementals, inner earth beings, the galactic federation of light, avatars, any and all beings who wish to support your highest good and the highest good of all that is. We welcome you into this space and we thank you for your guidance each and every day. This is a very beautiful time of year. During this time period, we also have the autumnal equinox uh, in the Northern Hemisphere, which is where I am. So we have an equinox. We have equal day and night during this time. We also have several different planetary alignments during this period of time and we can accomplish quite a bit. So what is it that you are planting the seeds for with this new moon, which you hope to see fruition of by the next full moon? So we're asking to be shown clearly in a way which we can easily understand and integrate how we can most fully align with our paths at this time to be in alignment with our highest good and the highest good of all that is. Mm. 
We're also asking for underlying guiding energies which we can call upon for additional support during this time. Okay, so there's a couple of cards. Asking for some specific guidance from the goddess, from the divine feminine aspect. And calling upon our allies in the hidden realms. For a message. Mm, the first card which we received is the star. This is a major arcana card. This is a major point on the soul's journey through life. It's a little weird. Okay. Here we go. It's a major point on the soul's journey through life. And this indicates a time of really showing up in the world and offering our fullest expression, offering our gifts, our activated selves. And giving this freely, so not holding back, not creating a smaller version of ourselves to feel more comfortable or for whatever other reason one might do that, but to really be expressing and giving of ourselves, sharing our gifts, shining our lights so that others also see these lights and feel these lights and know that this light is also within them, that they can shine as well. And this will be what changes the tides of consciousness. We see the one stream separating out into different, different flows, different streams. So this is our unique individualized expression of the divine source consciousness that flows through each and every one of us. Each of us has a special gift to share and now is the time to be doing that. There are also sunrise and sunset colors. I'm getting an impression of like a sunrise so that time when we can really take in the energy of the sun, this masculine force and nourish our souls, nourish our bodies with this light and also to allow this light to shine through us and into this world. This is also our vision, our understanding of reality, our view of the future and sharing what we came here to share to create this amazing golden age future, the new earth, the new paradigm which we are all here to create. So what vision are you crystallizing of this new earth? The underlying energy that is supporting us now is the aid of fire fusion. And so, let's see if you can see this. The aid of fire fusion and so this is in the fire suit which is all about our passion our creativity our expression and it's also tempered with water here so again we have water in both of these and the colors in these are pretty similar actually there's a lot of yellow there's a lot of blue so a lot of that fire, solar energy, also being tempered with water, so I get a sense of balance. Both of these cards are in masculine suits, and they're also both tempered with water, which is a feminine energy, so really showing up in a balanced way of doing 
and being in a balanced way of of having a very forceful directed energy and a very flowing allowing energy This also looks like a yin-yang in a way to me. So again, with balance, balancing light and dark, feminine and masculine. And there are also flying fish on this image. So the ability to transcend what we have previously perceived to be our limitations and our reality and to experience whole new ways of being to be able to transcend worlds and versions of reality is a powerful thing and it's a gift which we have with the an ability which we have The goddess guidance which we received is Athena, inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. So again, we have this balance of the inner knowing, which is more of a feminine energy, and taking action without delay, which is a more masculine concept. Athena is a warrior goddess. She's very intuitive she knows and she trusts her wisdom she is also a goddess of wisdom and judgment and we see in this image an owl which also symbolizes wisdom perception knowing and swift action as well acting swiftly without so they they're hunters they're they're swift and silent you can't hear their wings flapping well we it's hard for humans to hear their wings flapping because their feathers are shaped in such a way that they they fly with very little sound they hunt at night mostly so this is taking appropriate action but not needing to announce yourself, not needing to make it a big known thing per se. It's just taking that action swiftly and directly and gaining the desired outcome. Without having to make a big fuss about things, so to speak. There's also, it sort of looks like a rainbow wing right behind Athena in this image. So I get a sense also of other winged ones of angels and avatars being of assistance to us at this time that we can call upon. And knowing that we are all of these things, we embody certain frequencies while we're here and many of us are here to embody some angelic frequencies okay the wisdom of the hidden realms card which we received is number 25 the eyes of beauty and the keywords for this are positive expectations and clarity and we received this card as a challenger so this is asking us uh, bringing attention to us for us to where how we're perceiving the world so again with perception how are we perceiving the world what are we seeing as beautiful or positive and are we missing the beauty in our lives? Or are we ascribing positive attributes to the world around us or certain situations that are not necessarily appropriate? Where are we projecting and where are we perceiving with clarity? This card asks us to take a look at that 
and to take a look at where we can see more clearly, where we can be more real with ourselves. Because as Athena says, we already know. You, we always know. And sometimes we can not perceive things right away or choose to not see things right away. Uh, for whatever reason and we've all come here to learn certain things during this lifetime so it's okay if we don't perceive things right away it's not a bad thing it's here to teach us but this is perhaps a time to be very clear and to be very alert and attentive to the details of life and to the situations that we find ourselves in, to the people who we find ourselves interacting with. And I feel that there is another message in here as well. Um, hmm, okay. So also, uh, it says, as a challenger, the eyes of beauty are a sign that self-centered fear expressed through harsh judgment is behind your current circumstances. Are you seeing only the flaws in your circumstances or in another person? Are you looking at what is wrong instead of what could be made right? If you take some time to adjust your eyes and see things exactly as they are, you cannot help but admire the perfection. So releasing our expectations about things or how we think things should be and instead putting that energy towards how things could be. So if something is being perceived as not how we want it to be in this moment, instead of judging it and saying that it's wrong, seeing how can we make it right. It's a beautiful message. It's a really powerful, powerful message. Clarity, inner knowing, fusion, and the star. So these are our cards for this time period. How can we choose to create the life which we are wishing to live by having clarity of perception and also committing to creating a positive perception, committing to creating a positive experience in this life. Sometimes I feel have felt challenged by that in the past. It's something that I'm working on. And it's a beautiful reminder that it's always possible no matter what the circumstances appear to be. Um, we can also do this by trusting our inner knowing and taking the actions which we know are right now instead of putting them off or not trusting ourselves. It's really important to trust ourselves trust our judgment, and take appropriate actions, as Athena says, without delay. Fusing our inner knowing and the active parts of our lives so that we can move forward in a balanced way to share our gifts and shine our lights in this world, which will ultimately inspire those around us to do the very same thing, which is exactly what this world needs right now. It needs all of us to shine and share our gifts. And on that note, I'm going to also share another gift of mine, which is um, sound healing and light language transmissions. So please make yourself comfortable again if you have somehow shifted out of that. <laughs> and I'm going to share some sounds with all of us from all of our teams and guides and star beings and our higher selves and my higher self. <clears throat> I'm going to start off with a new um, song that has been coming through me 
a lot lately. Just open the channel. Oh, 
Kuaya Nashaya Yamoya Nakayala Nasha Kiala Nashala Kiala Nayamoya Nakaya Huala Yamoya Kashiala Kiala Shia Huaya Kalayimoya Hayala Kuya Nyoya Haya lakana yoya, huya laka iya moya nasha ilioya. Speak. Speak that which comes through you from here through your heart. It floats into you, downloads, integrates through the heart to speak, to speak into this world. Thank you for joining us here. Thank you to all of our guides, subconscious inner children, fully awakened adults, higher selves, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, star beings, elementals, inner earth beings, galactic federation of light, avatars. Thank you to any and all beings who joined us here and any and all beings who support us in aligning with our highest good and the highest good of all that is each and every day. Go if you must, stay if you will, with humor and humility we let you go. Creating altar space with crystals, if you have crystals to make a grid, creating altar space is a good thing to do right now to set your intentions to clear your space to create a space that feels safe for you to express and embody and be <sighs> much love and many blessings to each and every one of you Thank you for joining me. I love you so much. I have some upcoming conversations 
that my friends and I will be sharing about consent and coercion and communication and I hope that you'll join us. We'll be sharing it on uh, Facebook Live. You can follow me on there, Amara Amethyst. Um, also, we'll be sharing it to our prospective YouTube channels as well. So I hope that you'll join us in that conversation. Um, we'd love to keep that conversation going because it's an important one as we shift into this new world. Many of us are holding a vision for a world of peace and balance and harmony between all aspects of humanity and a place where all of us are safe to be and express and be heard and respected. So much love to you and many blessings.